Good morning. Um, I think today I'll be vlogging my day. It's really nothing exciting. I have to edit the next video you will see. No, actually the previous one from this one. I also have to do a project that's due on Wednesday. So that's basically what I'll be doing today. Um, I already did my yoga and a small workout. I just put rice water on my hair. It's only the second time I do it, so I don't know how good it works. But yeah, I'm hoping to see results in the future. I'm gonna have breakfast, then shower, wash my hair, and then I guess I'll start editing the video. I also don't know what to make for lunch or dinner, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, breakfast time. Well, it's a while later. Um, yeah, it's already one. I still haven't made lunch, but I showered, did my hair. Okay, I don't know why the light is so dark. freaking white now <laughs> I'm a ghost um but yeah I'm going to start editing the video and I'm having a snack I usually don't snack but this is so addicting it actually makes my stomach hurt it's these Christmas marshmallows and they're covered in chocolate they are also known as gimolves I think yummy this is the program I used to edit my videos and it's called Caden live it's really good it's supposed to be like premiere honestly think this video editor is really good to be free I've been trying different editors because I also did a communications major at university so I actually do have quite a bit of experience with editors and I did have a MacBook and I used to use uh, Final Cut Pro I also used DaVinci Resolve but now that I have Linux the editors that I was using before and I don't want to pay for them I don't want to pay that much right now the video I'm editing is what I eat in a day and I have two really good recipes that you would need to try if you haven't so now I'm going to do the voiceover of the video I usually do it on my phone and with this little microphone here yeah, and I just find it's the easiest way because it allows me to watch the video while I do the voiceover and it just makes it easier in my opinion. I know you can do it in the editor, but the problem is that there are always like a hundred mics showing up and I don't know which one this is. And it takes me a while to figure it out. So yeah, this is just easy, fast. I always forget the name and yeah, it's just better. So, I 
am done with the recording so now what I do is send it to my well upload it to my cloud and download it in the computer and then I just add it to the video and kind of edit it a bit like any pauses or weird sounds that could be on the audio and that's it so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to make lunch so we actually just went on a walk but I forgot to film so yeah we just got back it's like 4 20 p.m. I'm gonna finish editing I guess and do my project or start at least okay bye okay so I'm actually back and it's much later, it's like 9 or something. Yeah, 9.30. But yeah, basically, I didn't do the project. We went downstairs to chat with the family and they ended up inviting us to dinner. So that happened, it was very tasty. But yeah, I couldn't get done everything that I wanted, but I did finish the video. I just need to do the thumbnail and that will go up tomorrow so I'll probably I don't know I might do the thumbnail now I don't know but I also want to make sauerkraut and I'll show you a DIY that's super cute and it's gonna be all of this beautiful planters is that what you call it it's how to make your plants look beautiful at home sorry I didn't make the bed so for today's DIY I am personalizing these blenders to make them look super cute and beautiful I think it's a great Christmas gift if you want something cheap and easy to do and also very cute this is your gift so for this you will need a blender, it definitely does not need to be that size, some paper napkins, primer, glue, and varnish and brushes. So you want to start by priming the blender, this will make the napkin stick to the blender better and it will also serve as a background that's also why I'm using black babies white or clear primer if you want and I'm also doing the, the part of the interior basically I will be putting napkins everywhere that is visible and also like the same thing goes for the water tray And then for the napkins, you have to take off the white layers in order to do this or for it to look the best. And then you will want to get some water and the white glue and basically do a glue water mixture and this will save you some glue and then I start spreading that a mixture where I'm going to put the napkin I only put a little bit and then I put the napkin hold it and then start putting the glue mixture over the napkin to make sure it stays trying to press down to get rid of any bubbles and make sure it sticks well you can also cut the napkins in smaller pieces and make it look nicer but it's such a big planter that it would take me a whole year to finish it if I did it like that
And I actually did use that technique for the interior, the top of the interior because it was a little bit easier. So I would just cut like some squares and random shapes and try to make sure it fit well and nicely. And the same thing goes for the tray. I cut it in small pieces and use the same technique. Once you have put all the napkins and covered the whole planter, you want to let it dry and once it is dry, you give it another coat of that uh, glue and water mixture. I don't think this is necessary but I like doing it to make sure there are no bubbles or if anything like if I didn't glue something right. And last but not least, uh, you let it dry and coat it with a varnish. So it's a very simple and easy DIY that makes such a difference in your home. I think it's a really great DIY, it looks beautiful and I think it's a great gift. So if you have any plant loving friends or family members, Give them a plant with a beautiful customized planter. It's 30. I'm going to read for like 30 minutes and go to sleep. I forgot how long it takes to make sauerkraut. Like I made it two months ago, it usually lasts me about two months. And I forgot how long it took me to make it and all the mess and everything. But yeah, it's worth it, okay? It's really healthy for you, so... Next time, I will ask my mother-in-law for her shredder. It's electric, so it goes super fast. Like in five minutes, you have it, then you smash it a little. So I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can tell, like my cheeks and everything's fried. I'm overheated. It was like a workout. And well, update, I did my, I did the Dyson Airwrap this morning. And you can see there's still some cute curls. So, yeah, I mean, I still have to experience more with it, for sure. And see what works for my hair and what doesn't. Because when I curl it with a regular curling iron, it, iron, it also doesn't hold. 
especially when it's this long it's a lot for my hair so yeah I also want to try the other tools but I don't know I'm a little like curling your hair it's a little more fun when you have straight hair I have pretty straight hair so I just like seeing a little more texture and volume to my hair anyways I'm going to read and sleep so I'll end the vlog here, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Good night.